YouTube, it's Brecky from Brecky Writes, and this is Brecky Reads. This is the Intimidating TBR Pile book tag. The Intimidating TBR Pile book tag was originated with Lindsay Ray. I will link her video in the description below. Lindsay Ray tagged everybody who has at least 60 books in their TBR pile to do this tag. I have like 65, maybe 70 now, so I definitely qualify. Alright, the first question of this tag is what book have you been unable to finish? And that book for me is Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond. Now I have been trying to read this book for like four years. It's been sitting on my shelves. My most recent attempt over last summer only got me about 40 pages in. This is a history of human civilization that looks at the way that guns and germs and steel have allowed Europeans in particular to be such a dominant force in world history. It looks at the shifts of human population growth and the ways in which populations have moved. It is both a history of science and human culture, which is like totally in my wheelhouse as far as things that I enjoy about nonfiction, history and looking at human culture. That is like what I love. It's history, it's anthropology, it's science, it's all the things and I should love this. This won a Pulitzer Prize. I just can't seem to get into it. And that's not because this is bad writing, I just can't seem to get myself to sit down and read this. I think I might pick this up as an audiobook and see if that can help me get into the groove of listening to it. I just finished A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson and loved it and that is similar, although not the same, to Guns, Germs, and Steel. But yeah, I just cannot get into this book for some reason. The next tag question is, what book have you been unable to read because you just haven't had the time? And that book for me is Cinder by Marissa Mayer. Now, it's not because I don't want to read this. I want to read this so, so, so much. I also want to marathon at least the first three books in this series, and I just have not had the time to devote to marathoning these books. I know I'm going to love them. I know I'm going to want to pick up Scarlet as soon as I finish Cinder, and I know I'm going to want to pick up Cress as soon as I finish Scarlet, and Winter when I finish Cress. And I just don't want to put myself in a situation where I have to stop, especially if I have to stop in the middle of a book because I have work projects or other things I have to get done. Yeah, the only reason this is not currently stricken off of my TBR list is because I don't have the time to read this series, but as soon as I find the time, this is going to get read. It is. It really, really is. All right, the number three question is, what book have you been un unable to read because it's a sequel? And for me, that book is City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is book number four in the Mortal Instruments series. Now, I have started it. I think I'm about 90 pages in, and I just just had to set this down and I have not been able to pick it up. I read the first three books the first three days of January. This one has just sort of glared at me from my bookshelves asking me why I won't pick it up. And it's not long, frankly, for a Cassandra Clare novel. I just, I don't know. I think I'm not ready to revisit the angst of this world. These books are so fast paced and there's so much angst and emotions that I know I'm gonna need a certain headspace to read this. And this is not the kind of book that I can read a couple of chapters of every night. Like I'm gonna have to power through reading this. And kind of like with Cinder and the Lunar Chronicles, I'm gonna wanna marathon read these books because I'm gonna want to know how this, you know, mini trip trilogy arc ends and then Lady Midnight is coming out and I'm gonna want to jump into that and so I just I haven't been able to pick this up because it's a sequel I just haven't I can't I don't know <sighs> I'm weird. All right, the fourth question is, what book have you been unable to read because it's brand new? Now this one isn't technically brand new, but it is the newest book that I currently have, and that is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Now I was so excited to get this, and I thought I was gonna read it in January, and I epically failed and didn't. I really wanna read this. It's time travel and pirates, and it's part of a duology, and I think I'm going to love it. I just have so many other books, and I haven't gotten to this one yet. And the fifth question is, what book have you yet to read because you read a book by the same author that you did not enjoy. And that book for me is Shadows by Robin McKinley. Now I love Robin McKinley. If you've watched my channel, you know that she's one of my favorite authors of all time. I have almost all of her books, but the last book of hers that I read was Sunshine. It was her first attempt at an adult novel and I hated it. I was furious when I finished. I was so frustrated. It ends in this weird place where I was expecting another 25 pages. And then I went on Goodreads to see if I was like crazy and lots and lots of people didn't like it either. So it wasn't like it was me that 
that didn't like it. Like it was just across the board. She'd not written a great book and that just upset me and made me worried about the future books that she's writing. So I'd already purchased Shadow. This has been on my shelves for about six months and I just haven't read it because I was so disappointed with Sunshine that I'm I'm like scared to read this and I love Robin McKinley. The Blue Sword and Hero in the Crown are two of my favorite books and her two Beauty and the Beast retellings are two of my favorite classical retellings of that that fairy tale. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure. I can't. It stares at me and I just can't pick it up. All right, question number six. What book have you been unable to read because you are just not in the mood for it? And that book for me is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Now, I bought this a few months ago and I was super excited when it arrived and it was at the top of my TBR pile and then new books came in and this got lower and lower and lower and I just have not been in the mood for a vampire book. I got really into paranormal romance this summer when I read the Discovery of Witches trilogy by Deborah Harkness and I loved it and then I was like I'm gonna read some YA vampire books and it's gonna be great and then my steam just totally gave out and so I have this and I know I'm going to love it it's definitely one that I want to get to I just I have not been in the mood for vampires like not at all not at all and I know I'm gonna like it I just can't right now. Question number seven, what book have you yet to read because it is humongous and that honor goes to the only repeat author on this list, Cassandra Clare's City of Heavenly Fire. This bad boy is over 700 pages and it is the concluding novel to the Mortal Instruments series and I mean come on you guys, like, like look at this. This is a YA book. Why, why is any YA book over 500 pages? That is a pet peeve of mine, but that's for another video. But really, the reason I have not gotten to this, aside from the fact it's the end of a series, is that it's huge. And the fact that it's so huge is actually putting me off finishing the Mortal Instruments series because I just don't have time to invest in this much book. It's so big. Well, at least I know if anybody tries to attack me, like blunt force object, right? Like, take that. Take that. Question number eight is what book have you yet to read because it was a cover buy but you found out that it has bad reviews on Goodreads. I don't generally do cover buys because I have a small budget and so I tend to research the books that I purchase. I look at the Goodreads reviews of them, what the general star count is. I try to read a couple of reviews from people who've read it before. Now that is changing a little bit with Book Outlet because sometimes I have impulse bought things but never because of the cover, always because of the description. The closest thing I have to that is Bats of the Republic by Zachary Thomas Dodson. I didn't exactly buy this as a cover buy. I mean, it's a cool cover and this book is just really cool to begin with. I mean, they've got really neat like drawings. It's got journal pages and maps that unfold and really cool artwork. So this wasn't exactly a cover buy. I was in Texas and I really wanted to buy a book in Texas that's about Texas and this is like an alt history. This has a 3.55 rating on Goodreads. So not a stellar rating but not a bad one by any means. I mean it's better than average. I've been putting off picking this one up because I think it's gonna take some more mental focus than I have at the moment. This might end up being a summer read for me. So it's not exactly a cover buy that has bad reviews. It's just a cover buy that has sort of mixed reviews maybe I guess. And question number nine, what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? This is kind of a hard question for me because there are some books that are intimidating because they're long and there are some books that are intimidating because of the subject matter. But I think the book that I am probably most intimidated by that I own that's in my TBR pile is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Now this story follows the actual real life story of a last woman who was executed in Iceland and I think she ends up having to live with a family while she's on trial and how the family kind of swings from thinking she did it to thinking she didn't do it to thinking she deserves it to thinking she doesn't deserve it. I'm not intimidated by the writing and I'm not intimidated by the size. It's, it's not a long book but I think that this is going to be quite an emotional read and I think this is going to make me feel a lot of things and that is not always the most fun thing to feel all the things. So I'm intimidated by uh, where this is going to go with my emotions. I really want to read it. I really, really want to read it. But I am intimidated by what it's going to do to my heart. I am. I'm intimidated by what it's going to do to my heart. All right, so that is my intimidating TBR tag. Have any of you read these books? Are any of these books on your current TBR pile? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Now it's time for me to tag somebody and I'm going to tag three people. I'm going to tag Victoria from Hermit's Progress, B from B Reads Books, and Denise from Denise Marie. I hope that you guys have fun with this tag and it gives you a chance to look through your TBR pile and get excited about books that you are going to be reading. 
reading. For everyone else, I would love to know what your most intimidating book in your TBR pile is because there are books that aren't actually in my TBR pile because I'm really intimidated by them. Like A Little Life by Hana Yanagahara. Yeah, that I haven't even purchased it yet because it's intimidating. That's it for me. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye!